It is now being recorded and I will share the PowerPoint. Maybe. <laughs> Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So, there we go. All right, Mom, floor is yours. Are you ready? Okay. I just want to welcome everybody here tonight. My name is Corley Cormier, or Corky. Some people know me as Corky. Um, I am Brittany's mom, and I've been doing Young Living Essential Oils for six and a half years now. Um, it'll actually be seven years in July, so it's gone by quick, quick, quick. So I just want to thank everybody for coming. We're going to talk about um, the basically the introduction kit or um, an introduction to essential oils, give a little bit of science behind it and let you know kind of how it works and some of the top ones that are in the premium starter kit. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick disclaimer and um, just let you know that I'm not a doctor, a pharmacist, or even an essential oil expert by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just someone who loves all things natural and appreciates the company who puts quality and integrity first above other things. With Gary Young, I'm telling you, it's about the product, it's not about the profit, and he means it. Um, when he says it. Um, and I'm also always looking for different opportunities to educate myself and learn how to incorporate essential oils into my everyday life. So any information discussed in this event is for educational purposes only. It is not um, been validated or evaluated by the FDA and the Food and Drug Administration has some serious laws in place about what we claims we can make and what we can say regarding essential oils. I can tell you that I know that Young Living essential oils are powerful and they can be life changing. But since there's restrictions in place about what we can say as distributors, um, I am going to, um, I'm, we're not able to make any um, recommendations, claims, or give any specific, tell you specifically, um, specific guidelines or protocols um, for you. So I'm just telling you that ahead of time. Um, if, if you have any health concerns, we can't um, give you advice on that because we are not doctors. So, and let's just focus on what we can talk about and, um, I'm excited to know that you, I want you to know and be excited too about the fact that you are in charge of your health and wellness and accept this journey as we investigate about essential oils. So um, you need to use your oils if you're already oily, study your resources, get to know your own body. Um, and that's one thing when I became a essential oil user is Young Living has tons of educational opportunities for its people. It truly is endless and your upline would help, will help you, um, but you can find all kinds of information to help you. And they really care about their members and their members knowing how to use the oils and what to do. Um, with them and you can their website is full of education as well um, when you become a member then you have access to all that so you can safely and effectively learn to use um, the essential oils so what is an essential oil i'm glad you ask um so honestly that question, what is an essential oil, could be an entire class by itself. The chemistry of essential oils is truly fascinating. 
Um, I honestly, I had the pleasure of sitting in a class once with um, Dr. David Stewart, and I don't know if any of you, I know Brittany's met him, but he truly was an amazing man, is an amazing man, and he wrote a book um, on the science of essential oils, and um, gosh, it slipped my mind what it's even called, the essential oils made easy or understand. Simple. What is it, Brittany? Essential oils made simple. Yes, essential oils made simple. Okay, and the well, is like this big. What? Hold on one second. We're having an issue. Um, all right, Margie, can you see Melinda's screen now? Okay, so now she needs to pin your video. Tell her to try again. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Um, let's see. Brittany, um, are you able to unspotlight her video? Let me see. Should be repeating the same process yep. from earlier. Okay. I. Um, okay. I, all right, now um, see, let's have Maura G try again. See if she can try to pin it now. Yeah, now she should be able to pin it. Got it? Okay. Okay. All right, so now you can spotlight, spotlight her again. again. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll do this again. It's great learning tools. It's all good. Yep. Thank you, Mom. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So what I was saying is Dr. David Stewart, he wrote the book, um, Essential Oils Made Simple, and the book is like this thick. And um, it, it, I haven't, I'll be honest, I haven't read the whole book, but it's tons and tons of the chemical and the science and the chemistry side of essential oils. So it truly is fascinating, all the compounds and everything that um, goes along um, with them. But I'm just gonna give you the cliff notes tonight. Essential oils are the life force of the plant that they, whatever plant that they're derived from. When they are distilled properly, essential oils have the ability to do for us what they do for the plant when they're in the plant. They can help support our physical, mental, emotional well-being by triggering and strengthening our body's own natural processes. Um, they're made of tiny molecules that can deliver restorative properties to the symptoms or the systems that control our physiological state. And that's all the systems, digestive, cardiac, um, immune, respiratory. So they can um, help all those symptoms or systems. I don't know why I'm saying symptoms because I'm a nurse and I say symptoms all the time. So the molecules in essential oils are so small and so efficient that they have the ability to affect every cell in our body within 20 minutes. And then they're metabolized just like other nutrients that we take in. So here's some fun facts for the science people. Essential oils contain oxygen molecules that help transport nutrients to the human cells that, that have been damaged or compromised and are drained of nutrients. Because a nutritional deficiency is essentially an oxygen deficiency, disease begins when the cells lack oxygen for proper nutrient assimilation. So they can help provide the needed oxygen and work to stimulate the immune system. There are also powerful antioxidants and antioxidants help prevent mutations. They also work against free radicals, prevent fungus, and provide oxidation to all of our cells. But our body also does create antioxidants on its own, but just not enough to keep up with all the damaged ones 
because our body is constantly metabolizing and methylating and breaking down and it's hard for ourselves to keep up with everything so um, that we do to our body too because you have to remember that like the toxins we put in and um, disease when this happens that's when disease is allowed into the body and um, as well as just like our natural aging process because it happens to all of us and as we age our cells naturally break down well there's two groups two main groups of constituents that are found in the chemistry of essential oils and those are hydrocarbons and oxygenated um, compounds and then these are divided into subgroups like monoterpenes, sesquiterpenes, phenolics, alcohol, esters, aldehydes, ketones, and oxidides. So they all have a unique chemical makeup and each essential oil gives it the ability to work on a different side. They know my responsibility is Tuesday night. To support um, our body systems and encourage it to function in a healthy way that, that God intended it to. So I know that's really kind of sciencey, but basically, if you're reading the um, script or the PowerPoint there, it can tell you, you know, the cliff note version of it. But there's a lot that goes into essential oils that are not just something that, you know, is squeezed out. <laughs> of the plant, although it kind of is, it needs to be distilled properly, but yes. So, um, I know what you're probably thinking now, after hearing a fascinating science, um, you might be thinking that's all good and fine, but when I have my oils, what do I do with them? <laughs> the science is great to know, but sometimes we need some guidance on how to use them. But the great thing about our oils is that there really is not a wrong way to use them. Um, there might be a better way to use them sometimes, sure, but you will pick up on those things as you learn more. The important thing right now is just to use them. Um, there are many ways for our bodies to absorb the therapeutic components of Young Living Essential Oils. We can inhale them, uh, we can absorb through our skin and with the Young Living Vitality oils, uh, you can even ingest them internally. The main thing is to use common sense and go with what your gut tells you. It's usually pretty spot on. Um, as a Christian, I attribute that gut feeling to the Holy Spirit. And there are many times that if I'm not sure what to do, I will just pray and I'll ask the Lord to show me what oil I might need and then I will just feel that gut feeling like I'm being pulled to something and I will use it. And almost every time it works. So uh, there are um, lots of resources available that we can help connect you with. And uh, that's what we are here to help with. We are your support team and we will always be here to help offer guidance and um, again, help connect you to the right resources um, such as the essential oils desk reference. I have a copy of that here it's a big thick book <laughs> but um, this is a must-have um, for oilers but again the main thing is just to use your oils they will do you zero good if you just leave them sitting on your bathroom shelf so um, when it comes to the three main ways to use oils um, we have a simple saying that we use in on and up so in means internally. So Young Living's essential oils are safe to take internally. Uh, you can swallow them, you can drink them, you can cook with them. We have an entire line of essential oils that are labeled for internal use. Um, they're called the Vitality line. Um, the Vitality oils have a white label on them um, as opposed to the colored label. Now it is the same oil. It's still the same pure therapeutic grade essential oil as in the regular bottle. It's just that this is simply labeled as a dietary supplement to keep everything straight with the FDA. So you can also encapsulate your oils. 
Um, you can purchase veggie caps from Young Living um, or at a local health food store uh, for the times that you could benefit from taking an oil internally. You can just take it apart, put your oil drops in the capsule, put it back together and swallow it. Um, another favorite way that we like to use oils is uh, to add them to your food or drink. So just make sure that you are using either a glass or a stainless steel container. Um, essential oils know the difference between natural things and synthetic things. And because they are detoxifying, they like to get rid of the bad stuff. Um, they can eat through plastics or styrofoam. So it may not be apparent at first, but it could be leaching toxins from the plastic or styrofoam and then you would be ingesting them in your drink. So yeah, yikes, that kind of defeats the purpose. So use glass or stainless steel. Um, another way you can take oils internally is to drop them under your tongue. Um, that's called sublingual, uh, below your tongue. And that is one of the fastest methods to get all of the essential oil goodness into your body. And then another internal method is uh, using suppositories. You can use rectal or vaginal suppositories. Those methods are a little less popular for obvious reasons, <laughs> but they are also quite effective options. So in the essential oil desk reference, there is lots more information about that if you're curious. So we covered in, out of in, on, and up. Um, so on is topical or on our skin. So essential oils can be applied either neat, which is undiluted, just straight from the bottle, um, or you can dilute them with what we call a carrier oil. So a carrier oil is a fatty oil, um, similar to what you might cook with, like olive oil, um, coconut oil, grapeseed oil. And what those oils do, they carry the essential oil on your skin. So carrier oils have larger molecules than essential oils. Um, essential oils are very, very small molecules and they're absorbed very easily by our skin. So when you mix an essential oil with a carrier oil, basically that slows down the absorption rate because the oil is mixed with those fatty or the larger oils that won't soak in your, to your skin. So it just slows down how quickly your skin absorbs that oil. So it also lets you use that oil over a larger area of your skin. You know, one drop may not go very far on your skin of like frankincense, but if you mix it with um, a, an amount of coconut oil, then that's going to spread farther on your skin. Um, and it creates like a slow release kind of effect. So not only can you apply essential oils directly to the site of your concern, you can also use Vitaflex. Um, and Vitaflex is a technique, it's an ancient healing method um, brought to the U.S. by Stanley Burroughs. And what you do is you use points on your feet and your hands and your ears to access specific areas of your body. Vitaflex means vitality through the reflexes. So it is similar to something called reflexology. Um, and how it works is that your skin has a piezoelectric property. <laughs> So that basically means that it has pressure induced electricity. So our skin is full of nerve endings um, and nerves transmit um, impulses <laughs> using electrical signals. So whenever we use Vitaflex, we're harnessing that um, and we're using pressure from our fingers to generate an electric impulse. And it's a very, very light touch. Um, but a rolling motion that we do with Vitaflex, um, we start on the finger pads, then we roll over to the tips, and then we flip over to the nails, and that creates a stimulation that is very similar to how an electric switch or a circuit works. So the technique can be applied to various reflex points on the body. It's a technique we use a lot when we do raindrop technique. Um, and when it comes to applying essential oils topically, we love the bottoms of our feet. The bottoms of your feet have very large pores, so the oils absorb rapidly, and that area is typically not very sensitive, um, meaning it doesn't get irritated easily by oils, and it's also the location of many of those Vitaflex points that we just mentioned. So when in doubt, apply to the bottom of your feet. 
If you're not sure where to put them, just put them on your feet. An added bonus to putting them on your feet is if you don't like the smell of the oil, because sometimes we're not so crazy about all of them, you can put some socks on. <laughs> That's my little hack. Um, so topically too, um, one other thing I have to add is it is wise to generally avoid putting oils directly in your eyes. Very sensitive there. Um, you also don't want to put oils directly in your ear canal, again, because it's very sensitive skin in there, and any place else on your body that may be extra sensitive. Just use caution in those areas. Um, so we covered in and on, and now we have up. So up is aromatic use. Up means up our nose, inhaling the oils. So one of the most common ways to use oils aromatically is to put a couple of drops in an ultrasonic essential oil diffuser, which disperses tiny particles into the air in a fine mist. I've got mine here sitting right beside me. So not only does the use of a diffuser make your home smell lovely, but unlike synthetic fragrances and scented candles, you and your loved ones will get therapeutic benefits that are good for you. Um, instead of what can come out of those other options. Um, the diffusers, too, that come from Young Living are amazing. Um, they are built with high quality materials so that they can withstand the good therapeutic quality oils that we have. Um, so our diffusers will work much longer with our oils than um, many store-bought diffusers. Um, another way to use oils aromatically is to place a drop into your hand rub it a little bit and then cuff your hands together over your nose and your mouth to create a scent tent and then just breathe in those aromatic vapors for a few minutes um, this is a great way to use oils aromatically when you're out and on the go or you just need a you know a quick fix <laughs> of something you just cup it you know put it in cup and breathe to make a little scent tent um, another way that you can use them it's just breathe them straight from the bottle. Even if the bottle's empty, you're still going to have some residue um, in that bottle. So this is a very cost-effective way of you using every last bit of your precious oils. So a bottle could last nearly forever that way. Um, I have found bottles that have been empty for a couple of years and unscrew them and smell them and I can still smell the oil in them. So um, when we inhale oils, one reason why we um, like to inhale them is because the molecules of essential oils they work on our brain in a special way so when we smell them and inhale them they immediately go to the olfactory part of the brain that's our sense of smell and then when it hits that part of our brain it immediately goes to the limbic system which is the emotional center of the brain and that creates a work in the emotional area of our bodies so it has been scientifically proven that emotions and illnesses are closely linked um, and even some chronic conditions and discomforts. So our eyes, our ears, our tongue, and our sense of touch, those other senses, they are all wired so that the messages pass to the brain through the thinking part of the brain first. They go through several relay centers, go to the thinking part of the brain before we recognize what they are. Um, but the nose is wired differently. It connects directly to the limbic brain, that emotional part of our brain, which is deep in the brain, so that whenever we respond to an aroma, a scent, it's going to be emotional before we can be rational or thinking about it. Therefore, um, because inhaled oils directly af affect that emotional seat of our brain, um, that's also the area where traumatic memories are often stored. And because oils can help to release cellular memories stored anywhere in the body, they can be of amazing value in helping us to clear ourselves from unconscious or hidden emotional patterns that may seem to control our lives. Again, though, that is a whole nother class for another day. <laughs> so let's talk about the frequency of our oils. So one of the most amazing ways those essential oils work is because of their frequencies. Now, stay with me, okay? This is not some weird woo-woo frequency vibe thing, okay? That's what I thought about it whenever I first heard about oils having frequency. 
But what I'm talking about is actual, measurable, scientific frequency that every living thing is created with. Every organ in our body has a specific frequency. It has a healthy state frequency. And these frequencies are lower when we are experiencing disease, when we're fatigued or tired, um, or when we're having an illness. It is known that by keeping our body's frequencies at the correct levels, our organ systems and our immune systems work at a much more optimal level. They just work so much better. Um, when two frequencies are the same and they come together, it harmonizes or evens out the frequency and actually improves the function of that living thing. So just smelling a high frequency oil can actually raise our frequency. And that's especially helpful if we have just lowered it by consuming lifeless food or food that is very acidic. <laughs> so we now know that the frequencies of certain oils are the same as certain organs, which explains why they have been used for centuries to support that organ's system. It's pretty cool, huh? Frequency is a measurable rate of electrical energy that is constant between two points. The difference between essential oil frequency and the frequency of light or television or telephone or microwave is that these electrical frequencies, they are AC frequencies, alternating current frequencies, and they are incoherent and they are chaotic frequencies. So um, they're kind of create chaos <laughs> or can create chaos. Um, however, essential oils, on the other hand, they have a coherent harmonic DC frequency. And so they are harmonious with the electrical field of the human body. So um, harmony is something that we hear about with music, um, but it comes into play with any kind of frequency. Um, and our bodies have measurable electrical frequencies. So that's really amazing um, that our bodies work with oils that way. Studies have shown that negative thoughts can lower our frequency, 12 megahertz. That's the unit of measure for measuring frequencies. Um, but positive thoughts raise our frequency 10 megahertz. Prayer and meditation raises our frequency on average 15 megahertz. So as you see in the graphic um, on the screen, um, essential oils um, on the right side, they start at approximately 48 megahertz. Um, Melrose is that oil. Uh, and they range as high as over 500 megahertz. Um, Idaho blue spruce is one of those oils, for example. Rose oil is another one that is the highest frequency. Um, now, when it comes to fresh produce, fresh vegetables and fruit um, that has a um, frequency of 15 megahertz. However, processed foods, foods that have already been processed before you eat it, so canned foods, um, foods that are easy fix or instant to eat out of a bag like chips and stuff, those things actually have a frequency of zero megahertz. So they actually bring down the frequency of your body. Um, dried herbs have um, a frequency of 12 to 22 megahertz. Fresh herbs, because they still have some of the natural oils in them, they have some of the essential oils, um, those are 20 to 27 megahertz. But the reason that essential oils are so much higher is because they are much, much more concentrated than fresh herbs. Um, it takes pounds and pounds of raw plant material to make just a little small amount of essential oil. Um, so when it comes to a healthy human body, we're looking for 62 to 78 megahertz. Um, an unhealthy body is below 60 megahertz. Um, when our bodies stay in that place, they are much more susceptible to disease, um, illness, and other conditions. So the last little part I want to touch on um, is essential oils and pets. So I'm sure we have some pet lovers here, right? Um, so I had to include this too. I'm a pet parent, parent too. Yeah, say that three times really fast. <laughs> um, essential oils are amazing for keeping your human family healthy, but that's not just your kids. Um, it also is great for our fur babies too. 
um, the only, um, only the best should be used for our pets. So essential oils are an excellent choice for your pets because they are non-toxic, they are easy to use, and they are so effective. Um, Young Living even has an entire line of products dedicated just to pets, and that is the Animal Sense line. This line is safe for both pets and humans. There have been a couple times that I have scanned for some of the pet oils, <laughs> and we use the Animal Sense ointment a lot in our house. But um, we have used oils with our dog. Um, we've used them on a cat that we had before. And I want to say maybe we've even used them on our cows. I'm not for certain about that. But oils can be used for many, many, many kinds of animals. Um, and we have a whole um, animal desk reference if you want to know more about that. So Brittany, I'm going to hand it over to you. Sounds good. All right, our body system. We all want to be healthy and live happy, healthy lives um, and above the wellness line. Unfortunately for many of us, um, we start usually using our stuff on a consistent basis when we're below the wellness line. So we need to be using on a regular basis so we can stay above. Good news is your body is designed to be healthy and essential oils are a great way to support all body systems. After the class, I would love for you to take this quiz that um, I'm gonna, it's gonna talk about. We'll post it in the group, but it is a fun body system quiz. And with this tool, you can analyze uh, areas of concern zero in on root causes of issues that you may be having, and then choose the oils and the supplements and such that will help live a happy, healthy lifestyle with Young Living and get your body systems to rise above the wellness line. So, seed to seal. Um, one of my favorite things about Young Living is their seed to seal. Uh, I know that Krista has been to farms. My mom has been to farms. I've been blessed to um, go and see that as well. Uh, that is one of Young Living's biggest things that we can say we have is our farms. And we're the only essential oil company that controls the whole process from the seed and cultivating to distilling, testing and sealing it and sending it to our homes. Um, other essential oil companies get their oils elsewhere and then they just package them and bottle them and send them to everyone that gets them from there. But Young Living has been doing this for 25 years and they have an amazing um, experience and all the research and everything that they've done. So as I said, we own our own farms. We work with uh, our, I call them the co, uh, oh good grief, <laughs> farmers, people. <laughs> um, and we all work together and we strive to um, bring just the best to homes. Um, and it truly is not a slogan, it is our calling. Um, so I trust Young Living and everything that they have and that they bring to us. Um, I expect nothing but the best. And um, that, it's been one of the best decisions our family has made um, because of the quality, the purity, and integrity of our company. Um, start to finish, um, they truly are amazing. So with that, we're going to start our oils. Let's talk some oils. Um, tonight, we're going to discuss the premium starter kit. And um, 12 oils come in this. And the first one is peppermint. So peppermint vitality is what will come in your kit. Um, 
It is one of our stand, great standard oils. It's sharp, herby aroma is distinct and refreshing. Um, peppermint Vitality is great to support your digestive system. Tastes delicious when in chocolate treats especially. And it is soothing and cooling when applied. Um, one of my favorite things to do is add it to chocolate, like it said, peppermint brownies are amazing. Um, cocoa, and then if you are outside on a cool day and you need to keep your hydration up, uh, one drop of peppermint and a big thing of water um, will help you stay hydrated. That's all I have, mom. Are you next? <laughs> There I'm going to talk about lavender. Lavender is one of my very favorite oils because it is so versatile. Um, and it, it honestly is one of the most versatile oils on the planet. Um, I'll tell you a little story about how amazing it is for the skin. Um, my daughter came home with our grandson last summer. He had just turned one and we were having a, just the fire pit and um, out in our backyard. And we had roasted hot dogs and um, bless JT's heart, he, he touched one of the hot irons. Well, I think we were doing pies. It was like a pie iron. And like I said, he's one, so you know how small his little hand is. And I, I took lavender and put it on his hand. And um, I was trying to think what else I used, because I know there was another oil I used, but lavender in particular, I know. And I don't mean a couple drops. I like put, I took the top off and put like half the bottle. Um, and I couldn't, we couldn't get him to hold his hand, you know, hold it on his hand. So we actually put his little hand down in a baggie. And I had like half a bottle of lavender in a baggie just for a little bit. And um, the next day when he got up, when he went to bed, it was starting to blister. But the next morning when he got up, I, we were just amazed at the difference um, from when he went to bed to when he got up. And I'm telling you, it's, it's from lavender. So lavender is very good for the skin. Um, it's a great oil to relax with. It's known for being relaxing. So um, if you've had a tough day at work, you can diffuse it when you get home. It is very calming and soothing. You can put it on your pillowcase. A lot of people like to do that or diffuse, you know, it's one of my favorites to diffuse. Um, at night with uh, cedar wood and you can also if you're having some if you need some additional um support in the seasons you can add a drop of lavender to your nature every day so it can help with that too so on to lemon Thank you. I have lemon. <laughs> so um, lemon enhances the flavor of your drinks. And again, as Krista said, you need to make sure that especially with the um, citrus oils, and that would be like lemon, um, tangerine, orange, uh, even bergamot, which I didn't even realize that bergamot was um, a, a citrus oil. So any of the grapefruit, any of the citrus oils especially, but you want to have in glass or stainless steel. And lemon is used in thieves and as well as it's also in Ningxia Red. Um, it's very refreshing and clean. You can add it to um, 
like if you make your own cleaning products or even if you use our um, household cleaner, if you use household cleaner and you just want an extra lemon pop or fresh scent, you can add it to that. And um, it can also help support your um, body systems if you're using the Vitality one. So on to peace and calming. Peace and calming, I love this. I love, love, love this oil. It was one of my, um, I call it one of my gateway oils. My two gateway oils were Panaway and Peace and Calming. I'd had back surgery and I did not want to um, use uh, painkillers. So I chose to go a natural route and that was, Pan that's actually how I got started in the Young Living and it was Panaway and Peace and Calming and I put them on my back um, repeatedly throughout the day and it got me through the worst part um, of the you know discomfort after my surgery but honestly its name says it all it's a blend of the top um, several of the top oils it has um, tangerine orange um, elong elong patchouli blue tansy and it's got a very earthy um, scent but it it's it's different um it's very soothing and relaxing and um you can put it in the diffuser if the kids get a little over rambunctious as well as apply it directly to the bottom of your feet um, to help promote a calm and peaceful bedtime <laughs> all right digest so Digize, um, it can be helpful to remember that it sounds like digestion, and that is what it is amazing for. Um, Digize <clears throat> essential oil has a very spicy and rich aroma. It is very soothing when rubbed topically over your belly. Digize Vitality is ideal for supporting the digestive system when taken internally. Um, keep a bottle of it with you at all times, so you'll have it on hand when you indulge in rich or heavy foods, um, especially when traveling too. Digize is one, like if you're going to be eating new foods or maybe eating things you don't normally eat, you want to keep some Digize <clears throat> on hand. Um, my husband had some upset tummy issues last week, and um, he at first complained about how Dajaz smelled <laughs> because it's not one of the more pleasant ones to many people. Um, but um, by after two or three days of using it, um, he informed me that we're almost out of the bottle. So <laughs> I think he's figured out that it works. <laughs> so the next oil is Citrus Vitality. So um, have you ever felt like you just can't get enough citrus? Well, I don't blame you because citrus aromas and flavors are often just such a crowd pleaser. They are so zesty, they're invigorating, um, they're just like a breath of sunshine um, in a room. So Citrus Fresh is a blend that contains orange and grapefruit, mandarin, tangerine, and lemon. It's a lot of citrus um, with a surprise twist of spearmint at the end. So a popular way um, to use Citrus Fresh Vitality um, in your routine is to use it as a water flavoring um, or maybe for tea, um, or you can add a drop to your daily Ningxia Red Shot. That is really good, um, delicious. So beyond its awesome flavor though, Citrus Fresh Vitality also makes an amazing dietary supplement. <clears throat> you can add a few drops to a capsule and you'll find that citrus oils and spearmint are very, very supportive of the digestive system. Um, and you can also diffuse Citrus Fresh Vitality just for that clean, fresh scent. It's great to add on dryer balls um, if you use um, wool dryer balls. It's just so happy. It's just a great mood booster, which a lot of us need right now, right? <laughs> so keep that on hand. Um, now, Panaway, this was the oil that Corky mentioned earlier. Um, so, Panaway <clears throat> has a slightly spicy but minty um, aroma, very invigorating. Um, you can apply Panaway to soothe tired muscles. 
Um, I love to put it on the back of my neck. Um, it's very refreshing and relaxing. Um, I tend to carry a lot of tension in my neck, which can sometimes be very uncomfortable. So pan away um, can be my best friend. I carry it in my purse, usually. Um, it's a blend um, that contains helichrysum oil. And helichrysum has many, many amazing skin supporting benefits. Um, so it can support the appearance of healthy skin. So a little tip there on the screen, you can add some pan away um, mixed with a little copaiba and some peppermint, some whipped coconut oil, and that will make your own muscle rub. Just keep it in a little tiny mason jelly jar and keep it in your bag and um, your muscles will love you after a good workout. <laughs> frankincense and frankincense vitality. Um, I always say when in doubt, pull Frank out. Um, because it's good for everything. If I had to pick one oil in my whole life, Frank would be it. Thank goodness I don't have to, but if it was good enough for baby Jesus, it's good enough for me. So um, it has, I always, it says a very grounded, earthy aroma, but I always think of clean dirt. I know that's kind of like an oxymoron, but clean dirt, and that's that's really what it smells like. Um, it's great for your skin, and it is amazing. Um, the Vitality Frank is amazing for immune support and respiratory support. We'll move on to Raven. Raven is a blend that has Raven Sarah peppermint and eucalyptus radia. It's beneficial when rubbed on the chest or applied to the bottom of the feet, um, especially if you're stuffy. Uh, when diffused, it's great and will, um, it's good for right before workout or during a workout, you'll wanna use it. Um, I actually had a friend who was um, running on the treadmill and she noticed that she was just getting really tired and worn out and she applied she keeps her raven right there and she applied it and it just oxygen jake oxygen oh good grief uh-huh right <laughs> oxygen jake no you know it puts oxygen in your blood mm -hmm. so you'll <laughs> want raven for that <laughs> All right, stress away. Stress away is my oasis in a bottle. If I can't get to a beach, I'm gonna bring the beach to me and it's gonna th be through this little bottle of stress away. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's got a hint of vanilla and um, I used to hate it. It literally used to turn my stomach. Um, my husband would ninja me with it I didn't know he would put it on and then it would be like, oh man, and I would stink. But now I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite oils. Um, but it's great. The name says it all, stress away. Just helps everything to melt. So if you're having a rough day, a uh, situation that you just can't uh, get over on your own, pray and apply stress away. Um, so. Then we have Valor. Valor is up. Who has Valor? Um, I love Valor. I really, really do. Um, this oil is, it says, it should perhaps be called the Magic Unicorn Tears. Um, it's a blend of black spruce, camphor, blue tansy, frankincense, geranium, and it's like sweet, exotic, woodsy. Um, so the word valor is like, means courageous or courage, and um, it can uplift you and ground you at the same time, give you a confidence boost. So if I, um, if you know that you're, you've got a tough talk ahead of you or you need to address a situation, um, you can put some on to give you the courage that you need. Um, 
a lot of times I like to use it um, on my spine if I've got some things out of, you know, a little wonky back there. You can put some in your Epsom salts bath because it's very relaxing too. So, and I love the color. It's a pretty bluey purple. So you can put it on your feet, you can put it on your wrist, you can put it on your chest, back here neck i like to put it up here on my crown so it's very empowering and uplifting this is just a fun blend and um, it has a great story behind it so sometime ask somebody about the story if you haven't heard it um, but thieves um, essential oil blend is just packed full of stuff. It helps support your immune system, maintain your overall wellness. I like to put a drop in my coffee in the morning um, because the vitality things, you can put a drop in your coffee if you're, if you like spicy things, you have to like spicy things, but it can just help support my immune system. Um, it is an oil that I have in my house all the time. I use it to clean, I use the Vitality, like I said, in my coffee or in my tea. Um, I like to put it on the bottom of my feet, the topical one, um, just, and it all is doing everything it can in my body. I can clean with the products from the Thieves line. There's a whole line of Thieves products. And um, I can actually say now that it has kills 99.9% .9 of germs. I'm allowed to say that now. Um, and it's just an oil that I always have. So whether you are using it for daily prevention, extra support, um, when you get below the wellness line, you're going to fall in love with these. It's just an amazing oil. It smells like Christmas all the time. It's got that spicy um, poppy thing. It's got cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and clove. Um, it's just very warm and homey smelling. And like I said, we do have a whole thieves um, cleaner line. And when you get the premium starter kit, it comes with a sample of the thieves household cleaner as well as the um, waterless hand sanitizer that shows up there. And uh, there's a Thieves um, starter kit on its own. And it will actually, we'll talk about that next week at another one of our great What's in the Box class. All right. So Ningxia Red. I'm curious how many of you have tried Ningxia Red yet? Um, I've got some in my glass right now <laughs> with a little coconut water. <laughs> it's helping me power through um, at the end of the day. But Ningxia Red is a nutrient packed antioxidant superfood juice. That's a mouthful. Um, we call it ninja juice because sometimes that's how it makes us feel. Um, but Ningxia Red is such a healthy thing to treat your body to every day. Um, Ningxia Red supports all of our body systems and it helps our bodies perform at an optimum level. I drink at least one ounce daily, um, sometimes two. Um, if I ever start to feel run down or just downright bad, I will up my Ningxia intake and I can feel the difference every time. Um, between consistent essential oil use and drinking Ningxia Red, um, I have no doubt that I'm doing a great job supporting my body's needs each and every day. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Ningxia Red, we're gonna have a Zoom on it next week too, just like the thieves. So um, check our schedule out in the event um, page and uh, you'll get to see that schedule and in our, our Facebook group too. Um, so next up, Brittany's gonna talk about some supplements and other things. Yep, so all this um, and much, much more. So Young Living is not just oils, it's a lifestyle change. Um, one of the things that 
in my journey, I found that um, there are so many nasty and uh, toxic chemicals and dangerous things that we're unaware of when we just go buy things at the store. Um, and I'm thankful that um, in my journey, Young Living and everybody that I've been able to learn from has shown me that there are safe alternative things um, to get. So in that, Young Living has shampoo, body wash, soap, um, bar soap. I love their bar soap. Um, supplements, our supplements are amazing. Um, they are packed full of amazing nutrients plus essential oils. Um, nobody else has those. Um, so they're all safe and beneficial. Whole family can use them. Uh, one thing that you can do in your transition in your lifestyle change is get the Think Dirty app and start scanning things. Your eyes will be opened to um, things that you didn't even know were in your products. Um, the next step is in implementing this is ditching and switching. So just by doing a little bit at a time, you can change, exchange everything that you would normally get at the store. You can get it through Young Living and know that it's safe for you and your family. Um, we will talk more on that later. So is there anybody here that's not a member? Because the next thing is to go through the premium starter kit, which I'm happy to do, but if we're all members. Well, if we're recording this for others to view later, yeah. it'll still probably be good. Oh, okay. Yep. Good point, Krista. No problem. <laughs> so the premium starter kit comes with 12 essential oils and a diffuser. And I don't have my diffuser, but I did bring my premium starter kit. To open and show you how beautiful it is. This is it. These are 10, 10 of the 12 oils. And they're the 12 oils that we talked about. And then you, I'll show you this little trick because sometimes people miss this. So this comes out and then under here is a secret door if you like secrets so the secret door comes off and then that's where you get the rest of the good stuff so there's actually a sample of Ningxia Red um, the other two oils a hand sanitizer and a sample of the Thieves household cleaner all of this is $165, which is 50% off the retail um, value. And it's a nice affordable investment for your family, um, especially when you consider all the things that you can replace with it. Um, it truly is um, a lifestyle change like Brittany touched on. And um, that's, one of the things that I love about it, you literally, I mean, Young Living is my store now. You can buy anything you buy at the store. Um, I don't know how you'd say household wise or personal products you can get from Young Living and you can have that peace of mind knowing that it's clean and you don't have to worry about toxins. So once you become a member, there's no strings attached, no monthly order commitment. Um, you don't have to sell um, to anybody else. You can just be a user. So honestly, most people are just users. Um, and it comes with people like us who are willing to um, help you 
We're passionate. We'll be committed to you and your family and educating you and helping you learn what you need to know. No pressure. And we are just thankful and blessed to get to help people on their health and wellness journey. And um, so you can get with the person that um, invited you to watch this uh, video. And if you want to sign up, then they can help you get started. All right, we are nearing the end, uh, but we would be doing a disservice if we did not talk to you real quickly about essential rewards. So um, remember when Brittany was talking about ditching and switching earlier um, and how she started replacing some of the products that she bought from the store, and Corky just mentioned that too, uh, replacing it with things that you could purchase instead from Young Living. Um, and that is all about getting the healthiest products that you can for you, for your family, and ditching toxins from your home too. So the smartest way to go about all this process and to fully embrace the Young Living lifestyle is to join Essential Rewards. So Essential Rewards is an optional monthly ordering program. It costs nothing to participate in it. Um, but what you do is um, when you place a monthly order with Young Living under Essential Rewards, they pay you back um, by buying 50 PV or more of oils. That's about $50. Um, oils or products, anything from Young Living store each month. And when you do that, um, you will save on shipping. You have cheaper shipping rates on Essential Rewards. You have the flexibility of changing your order every month. You get to choose what comes in your box every single month. Um, and you can ad earn additional uh, monthly promotional items, so free gifts from Young Living in your box. You can change when your order comes to you every month. Um, and again, the program is free to join with no obligation. You can cancel it at any time if you choose to, but I never want to personally. <laughs> but you also earn, um, you earn points back, which are basically like in-store credit. So after you order, through Essential Rewards, Young Living gives you a credit on your account, and you can turn around and spend that on more products whenever you're ready. Um, so you start off um, the first three months with Essential Rewards earning 10% back, um, which is better than any store credit card that I know of that gives you rewards. Um, from months four to 24, you get 20% back in points um, in the in-store credit from your orders. And then from month 25 and beyond, you earn 25% back, which is amazing. And you also get loyalty gifts uh, from Young Living after three, six, nine, and 12 months on Essential Rewards. Um, and if you join Essential Rewards right from the start, whenever you get your starter kit, that automatically gets you the free 100 um, PV promo oil, which in the month of May 2020 is a bottle of Longevity Vitality for free, which is amazing to get that for free, just as a gift. So um, when it comes to getting started with Young Living, um, it is so easy and it is affordable, like Corky said. Um, it can seem like a bit of an investment at first, and it is um, when you first purchase that starter kit. But I can tell you that our kit paid for itself within the first month that we had it and things that we were able to start taking care of at home. Um, it gave me options as a mom, um, whereas I didn't think I had any options. <laughs> you know, the only option that I knew was to, you know, run to go get every little tiny thing checked out because I didn't know what else to do. And just the, what it saved us and being able to, manage minor things at home and um, emotions it, it's been like Brittany said the best choice we've made for our family period so um, you know whether you just want to dabble with some oils or you are ready to make some major lifestyle changes this is the perfect way for you to start so we would like to thank you for hanging out with us tonight um, I hope that this was educational fun um, I hope you learned something new and we truly love sharing our passion of Young Living with all of you. Um, we want to help you in your journey, um, whatever that is, wherever it leads you. Um, but please know that we're here for you. If you have any questions, get with Krista, Mom or I. Um, 
we're happy to um, help you anyway. We'll be following up um, and we would love to talk with you if there's anything that you need. So with that, we're gonna end our evening, um, but we would love for you to join us next week. Keep an eye out for the next classes. Thanks everybody. Thank you everyone.